Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters, good times. So Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. And we're here with Scar's Frontier Outpost, getting ready to work once again on our base. And let's fly on inside. And I love that runway we have there, and I think that is super awesome. But we need to take a break from our courthouse and work on our interior once again. And as you can see, we built this beautiful hallway. But where is it leading to, my friends? That is the question. And it's going to lead to what I've been planning on for quite some time is an armory, a place to showcase all of our beautiful Diamond Man suits. So as you can see, we have our beautiful Diamond Man suits and I'm gonna place them on the walls. We're gonna have some redstone contraptions. That's right, redstone is going to be worked on here and it's gonna be amazing. And I'm really excited about this. I think you guys are absolutely gonna love this. But before we get started today, we've gotta to head over to the Tool Forge because Mr. Cub is gonna pick up his flight suit today. And a whistle will you work. A whistle will you work. Oh, Mr. Cub, how are you today? How are you How's today? It going, Scar? Good, good, doing, and welcome. I'm welcome to well. Scar's Enchanted Tool Forge. And uh, I have an order for you. So over here in this box, I have an order for a flight suit. Is that correct? That's correct. That is what I ordered uh, a little bit ago. And uh, yeah, I'm here to pick it up. Awesome. So you had sent me an order to the De Deer Tool Forge Master, which I, I like that. I like that a lot, by the way. <laughs> um, so you had a flight helmet of the projectile. Now you had a choice between three and four. I went with four all around. Uh, we can't be going three. This has to be the perfect flight suit. It's not okay. used uh, <clears throat> at all. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. um, so no no used materials, anything along those lines. It's it's brand spanking <clears throat> new. Um, okay. So I'm okay. going to display this on the table here for you to admire. So those Ooh. are your new pants. Ooh, can I try them on real quick? Oh, you can. You can go right ahead. Oh yeah, very nice, very nice. Okay, okay. And then uh, here is your flight helmet. All right, I'll take that as well. Put that one on. Ooh yeah, very nice. All and right. then, not to say the least, there I I just moved, goofed up that saying. Anyway, those are your boots. <laughs> Those are your all right, all right, yeah, fantastic. Okay, um, now, in terms of pricing for this, what mm. are you what are you thinking? What are you thinking? I know it's it's quite expensive to get all these these enchants on here. Although I do have, I do have this. Let me check with this to make sure this is not expired yet. Let me let me go in my corner here for a second and let me okay. bring this up into the scar detector machine. Do, do, okay. Do, 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 <laughs> all right, it's actually still good by one day. Hooray! Yeah, all right, that's all right, good right. timing there, Cub. Good timing. So you're fifty percent off. And uh, so, what are you thinking here, Cub? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Like, let's see. How about this? Is pretty good armor. Mm, only so the I'm, best. I'm, not not used at <clears throat> all. Okay, I'm thinking like a stack and a half of diamonds. How would that sound? How much? Stack and a half. A stack and, and a half. Yeah, and then we take a little off for the coupon. So let's say a stack, maybe. Would that be good? All right, we, we could do that. We could do that. I think that's a good I think that's a good uh, deal there. There we go. A right, new flight right. suit, 50% off coupon needs to now be destroyed. Did you know there was a counterfeit ring at one time on the server with these what? coupons? There was. There was a was counterfeit it, ring going around. Was it the Logfellas? I never found out exactly who it was, but it was either the Logfellas or the Goodwells. Mm. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you for your services, sir. Very much I appreciate it. it. Any time, Cub. Any time. And if you remember, Cub, we also have a fully stocked here of tools in all of these chests here. We've got the mending with the fortune. We got the silk touch, as you can see. And somebody's been using my my fortune <laughs> mending and putting the tool back. They've been borrowing it. Yeah. They've been borrowing yeah. it. Wow. Yeah. You got you got to set up some type of security system in here or something. To, we need uh, a security system. That. But yeah, yeah. Any any other uh, any other tools or anything along those lines, Cub? You can always come right here to Scar's Enchanted Tool Forge. Uh, you just let the cat know, and uh, she'll set you up. Okay, sounds good, man. Thanks. All right, see you, Cub. Goodbye. And welcome back to Scar's Frontier Headquarters, and hopefully Cub Fan enjoys his brand new Diamond Man flight suit brand. Spanking new, not used at all. So we're going to start working on our Scar's Western Trading Headquarters. So in our prior episodes before the courthouse, we worked on our armory hallways, if you will. So let's turn the corner here, and I'll show you what I mean. And as you can see, we have this beautiful room arranged and ready to go. And I just love the amount of detail we put up into the walls and all of that. So we're going to carry those designs into our 
armor stand kind of showcase room. So as we come in here, what we're going to have is we're going to have our armor stands built up into the walls and they're going to have shutters that will open and close as we come into the room along with lights. And each one of these things is going to be a diamond man suit. One's going to be for fire. One's going to be for projectile protection and one's going to be blast resistance. And then on these little spots like right here, and there and then of course on the back walls those are going to be my costumes that's my creeper suit that's my skeleton my zombie and what's the other one? Oh, the judge suit and then in the middle that's where the magic happens my friends that is where the main diamond man suit is going to go and it's going to have a little kind of armor stand built up down here and it's going to pop up when we come into the room and yes yes i know what you're thinking but scar that's going to require redstone and I've been planning, I've been planning, I've been planning this room for almost three months. So I've, uh, I think I've got the redstone kind of worked out and let's get right into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start bringing up a pillar here. I'm going to count this out because this is going to be the basis of the entire room. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, oh, oh no, <laughs> I need to put eight. There's eight. There we go. And let me cut that out. So the entire room will be about eight blocks high. So we'll use that as we go across here and it's, Good to be back, my friends. You might not have known I've been gone, but I've uh, been quite sick lately. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to live stream or make any new videos, which has been a complete bummer. Um, I had recorded a bunch of prior videos so that um, I could work on a couple of projects over the week and then, you know, just get right back into videos. But unfortunately, I got sick and the videos actually came in handy because it made it so that there was actual content on the channel while I was gone. And I wasn't so much sick in the sense of having a cold or a fever or anything along those lines. Um, it's it's all kind of goes along with, my, unfortunately, my neuromuscular disease. And these things happen about two to three times a year. Um, I'll, I'll know a little bit leading up to it that something's amiss. Um, usually I, I detect it when I do my intros to videos, especially Scarline videos. And I get I just get really out of breath. And when that happens, I know something might be up. And on Friday, I woke up and I was just done. I, I had zero energy. And it's not even the amount of energy that you're like, all right, Scott, toughen up. We got business to take care of today. No, it's you're just completely drained. Like there is absolutely nothing left. And you're just stuck in bed. Can't leave at all, unfortunately. And took a little while to get over it. It usually takes about a week and I'm back. And it's it's like clockwork, really. It hits me in the same way every, you know, three times a year or so. Um, it takes a certain amount of time each time to get over it. And nobody has a clue what it means or does or what whatever goes on with me. But unfortunately, it gets in the way of videos. But at least this time, my friends, it uh, happened at a time when I had a surplus of videos ready to go. And I was able to get some of the work done that I had planned to do while I had those extra videos up because I'd created the extra video so I could work on the TwitchCon and the MineCon preparations. And I was able to do a little bit, so I was able to get a bit, a bit ahead on those accounts. So that was nice, but it's just really unfortunate. It'd be nice to ever have an answer for these things, but uh, sometimes you just got to live with it and uh, do the absolute best you can. And it definitely gave me some thought that, you know, every time this happens, you just got to be grateful that it does get better and you know you're not stuck in that position you know stuck in bed not able to do anything and you just got to be happy every single day you wake up and you just got to realize that uh, you're lucky that uh, you made it through this time and just keep doing what you're doing and try to try to live with everything to the fullest because you never know when that day is you might not um, have the energy again to get back up so that's what I kind of have to always kind of instill in my head is you know as frustrating this is as much as I want to be there making videos for you guys um, I just got to be happy that I can still do it. So there we go. That is kind of the basis of the room. So as you can see, I think that's starting to look pretty good. So let me whip this side in, in shape and I'll be right back. And welcome back. And as you can see, we got this side assembled and ready to go. So let's start working on the details. So let's pull out some materials here. Let's grab a couple things that we'll need for this. There we go. And of course, a little scaffolding. All right. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to start building this up now down in this little section right here. That's where we're going to get to some redstone a little bit later. Now, we're not going to get to it now, uh, but we definitely will in a little bit. So as you can see, what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And on that fifth block right there, I'm just going to put a marker right there just to give myself a little bit of a heads up, if you will. There we go. And then I'm going to start pulling these guys outwards now. We're going to add a lot of detail to this build. It's going to get a little bit crazy, but I think we're going to do it in a way that doesn't distract. Now, that's something we've always talked about in building is that it's OK to add just a ton of detail, but it's got to have a bit of a rhyme. It's got to have a bit of a reason. 
um, for all that detail. And I think this is going to be a good case where this is all going to make sense in the end. And I needed that actually to be up there in a certain orientation, but it's not cooperating. There we go. Put that one. No, no. Oh, wait, is that it? Hold on. Hold on. I had a vision in my mind. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Never mind. Disregard everything I ever say. There we go. Put that right there. <laughs> there we go. And then in this little corner, this is one of my pet peeves of Minecraft that we can't place gates in, a, in the right way. So we don't need to have to put undercarriage below them like that. But there we go, my friends. That is our first layer of detail for this section. Of course, like I said, this is where the stand is going to pop up. This could be maybe my judge robes or something along those lines right about there. All right. Awesome. So next thing I want to do is I want to get out some half slabs. I want to pull those in like so. I'm going to go boom and a bam like that. There we go. I like that. And once we get a little farther in, you're going to really see how all of this, I think, will at least work. So let's turn the corner here. And let's work on this part right here. Why don't we grab out a few of our slabs here and we're going to try to mimic some of the designs that we've done in the other hallways. And I think this will work out pretty good. Um, this part always is a little bit confusing. I might pull this up one more block like that instead of two. I pulled it up to three and I like that quite a bit better. These are all just a bit of trial and error when it comes to this. This you just take your milk chocolate and start just kind of orienting them into some pleasing way. And I think I think we can get there. I think we can get there. Next thing I want to do is I'm actually going to go up to about five blocks once again. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And off of that fifth block right there, I think I'm going to start extending this outwards. I'm going to replace this block with one of these eventually once we get into a more of a cleanup phase. And I'm going to bring this guy all the way across. And yeah, it's just all about those little details, finding that place and adding them and getting them all in line. There we go. So we'll do the same on the other side over there, potentially even adding some lights into that row of milk chocolate right here. So maybe doing some lights across here might be nice. Okay, awesome. So, so my friends, the question is, why don't we scaffold up a little bit and start connecting these pillars together? And I'm gonna pull this all the way up. Originally we had this two, and then we put it up two more blocks. And I think that'll work out really nicely. I'll pull that right there, connect that off of the top like that, boom and a bam. And I'm liking that. I'm definitely liking that, which leads me to the thought that instead of just doing one gigantic, you know, stone ceiling, we're going to need to build some beams. So I'm thinking maybe two beams going outwards across the room like that. I think that might be cool. And I love the improv. You know, you have a vision in your head when it comes to a build like we've planned out. But then once you kind of get into it and start building, that's when the real inspiration starts. That's when things start to flow and it gets amazing. There we go. Put these blocks up there like that. Boom, and a bam. Click that in line. And what I'm thinking is the actual armor stand is going to need to be like right here. And the little shells that come up and block it should be like right here and here. Doesn't that make sense? I think that makes sense. Hopefully it does. All right. I'm going to take this and that looking good, looking good, my friends. I love building. When I was when I was like sick and I couldn't do a thing, my muscles were just I, I call that muscle sick um, because that's what it feels like. It just feels like my muscles are so sick they can't. They can't move and it just takes a while for the muscles to kind of heal back up. And that's kind of the way it actually works. And um, all right. Is that correct? Yeah. We just need to add one more block right there. I was just thinking like all I could think about is like, I got to get back in there, my friends. I got to get back in there. Got to start building. And uh, building is just a massive creative outlet for me. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to Minecraft building and things of that nature, I'm actually going to pull this up one more block like that. I'm going to cut these out and I'm going to replace them one block higher like that. There we go. That's what we're looking for, my friends. But Minecraft is just such a creative outlet for me. Um, it's just where I like to go instead of maybe, well, I probably should do it a little bit more, but draw and things of that nature. Um, Minecraft has really just taken that from me. And, and like, that's where I like to express like creatively is through Minecraft. And this definitely, definitely is my favorite thing to just sit back and relax. It's so relaxing to build, isn't it? I mean, that's why that's like the huge reason I, I love this and say take GTA, for instance, Grand Theft Auto. I love just getting in a car and just driving through the streets, especially in the recent GTA, going up on the coastal highway, cruising through there with a nice fast car. Like it's just something like really peaceful about that. And that's what I love about gaming sometimes is just getting outside of our you know, stressful lives and just kind of relaxing, driving a car, building, even riding a horse in Red Dead Redemption. I love that. All right, my friends. See that design like that? I think that's starting to come out pretty cool. I'm going to replicate it over here and welcome back. And as you can see, things are progressing incredibly well in here. Now, I was thinking about splashing a little color into this little sleeve of design down here. 
as you can see. Um, so I was considering a little bit of green, maybe a little cyan. Now cyan's not gonna bring in a huge splash of color, but it's a little something extra. So it just kind of cuts down on those browns that we have. So let me know what you guys think, if you like the green or the cyan. So that is choice A, and that is choice B, and I'm not quite sure which one I like best. So I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna have you guys help me with that one. Anyway, let's dive in right here. And where we're gonna start working is in this little spot like right here. So I'm gonna place down a couple blocks real quick, just kind of feeling this out a little bit. I wanna make a nice little arch going across here. So I think about three blocks is a decent little arch. It's a little, not too much. Excuse me, cat, you are totally in my way. There we go, boom, and bam, like so. And that should be three blocks, right? Yes, awesome. So then if we just back ourselves off just ever so slightly, give myself a little bit of scaffolding, there we go, and we'll cut that piece out, and then we're gonna start bringing in some of these guys on the corners, like so, and that should be good. I think that should look really nice. Yeah, awesome, okay. Now you might see this little back corner right here. Not a gigantic fan of that, so I'm gonna sneak back up here, and I'm gonna remove some of that, okay? And what I'm gonna replace this with is a bit of our dark chocolate. I think this will look really, really nice back here. There we go, and then that'll be a really good contrast for our milk chocolate as the support container container? I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the support containers, there we go. The support connectors, there we go. That is what we're looking for. We're looking for the connectors. Awesome, okay. So next thing we're gonna do is we're just going to move this piece up here like that. Beautiful, wonderful, awesome. And we'll just come back down and see how we're doing. There we go, hello cat. How are you doing? Holding the fort down, hopefully. There we go, put these guys down there. There we go, I'm loving that, my friends. I'm loving that. The only thing I might consider doing is replacing this here with a stair, and I think that actually might look way better. Nice, nice, there we go, that's great. And then under here, just gonna stick these guys across here like that, maybe even just mix in a quick little boom man up, bam, like a so, fix our scar mistake, there we go. That's what we're doing, my friends. There we go, that looks a 100 times better. And I'm, what I'm thinking is maybe, maybe, just maybe in these little corners up here, that could potentially be a place where we could splash in either green or cyan. Just another little place to stick that in there. Let's throw in a little cyan just to, in good measure to make sure we show off both designs like that. Yeah, oh man, it's kind of a hard choice which one I like better. If we do green, we can also mix in, say, some lime green, so it has a slight contrast in that. I think that also look really nice. Okay, let's scaffold all the way up here and start kind of contemplating what we want to do up on the top beam here. Um, see this back section up here? Why don't we fill in this once again with a little bit of our dark chocolate, looking very delicious, and then, hmm, that's a good question, my friends. I think I want to keep it two blocks, so we're going to keep this design going all the way across like that. Um, what I think I will do is bring in this guy like that and then potentially maybe bring it up one more block like that might look nice. Let's clear that away. There we go. That's starting to look amazing. Awesome. Let me work on this a little bit more. And welcome back. And I'm finishing up this last window on our upper level here. And look at the behind the scenes back there. That is the tree of light beacon. Super awesome. There we go. And I'm gonna place a block right there and a little gate and two fences on either side. Boom, and a bam, and look at that. I think that looks really cool. I'm considering something needs to go in that center. Even though I like having it open so that the light can be shown through there, but uh, I don't know, uh, maybe another armor stand of some kind up there. And let me cut out this block right there and add myself just a little bit of light. There we go. And let's scaffold down and see how this have all come together on the upper level. So as you can see, the modifications made, instead of doing it solid with the stairs, or not stairs, but the fence posts, we added a little gate up there and then added light down the center. And I think that looks, that looks really good. All right, now you might be wondering, what's this gigantic pedestal, Scott? Well, what I'm thinking about, my friends, is is doing the trick with the armor stand and pushing it into the block right there and just having you know a helmet or a hat being displayed right there. I think that sounds amazing. Maybe a great place to display our hats. Um, that's one thing I love about modded Minecraft. I love the hat mod. That's like my favorite mod of all time. Um, let me grab that and that. I like it was a passion of mine to go and collect hats. Uh, I don't know, I, I love that aspect of Minecraft. You know, technical building, all those wonderful things, but sometimes it's just good times to just have fun and have like a silly mod that is all about hats. Like, I love that, I love that. That's good times right there. There we go, put those guys all along there. Beautiful, wonderful, awesome. And then let me take this and that, and I'm gonna go boom and a bam and a little in the middle. There we go. And then we're just gonna loop this across here. Oh, hello. 
Oh, no. Oh, geez. I'm getting all over the place. Really getting in the weeds today. And <laughs> let's give ourselves just a little extra carpet. There we go. Give ourselves a little extra carpet. Awesome. So that makes up what I think will be really, really cool to have those hats being installed into that block. So I think that'll look really cool. So the next thing we need to do, we need to add ourselves a floor. So let me move this all together and we'll be right back. And welcome back. And I think we've got something looking really good in here. So let's turn the corner here. And as you can see, we've got the floor installed and ready to go. And of course our walls are set. And as you can see these little corners here, what we're gonna do is we're going to do stairs along here and then they're going to open up revealing the armor stand behind there. I think it'll look really cool. And then these ones are gonna be pop-ups. So the pop-up, the stands will pop up. And those of course will be for the costumes in there. And then down this way, we're going to have our armor stands with our helmets connected right there. And then the big wall in the back, my friends, this is where the real Diamond Man version five will live. And when we enter the room, it will pop up right in front of our very eyes. And I think that'll look really cool. And there goes Little Red Riding Hood once again. We need to reorganize our wolf because, of course, the Little Red Riding Hood keeping our wolf angry has fallen through the ceiling. So we need to redo that up there. But there we go, my friends. Hopefully you like the start of our armor room here. I think it is going to be really, really cool. So let me know if you guys like the cyan or, of course, the green stained clay in that little corner up there. And there we go, my friends. Until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the videos are already, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later.